Pet birds in general are very good companions as they are intelligent and easily socializable. The pet birds are colorful and lively and they have a longer lifespan with minimal requirement of grooming and exercise. They require relatively less space and limited feed due to their small size. They are ideally suited for rearing under home conditions and the maintenance is also less expensive. The common pet birds reared by pet enthusiasts are Macaws Cockatoos African Grey Parrots Amazon Parrot Conures Lorries and Lorikeets Cockatiels Lovebird Budgies and Pigeons These pet birds have their origin in different countries namely Australia, Western Africa, Mexico, Madagascar and South America and are read throughout the world by pet enthusiasts. One of the important things before bringing home a pet bird is providing adequate housing conditions. Usually, the pet birds should be housed in cages which are large and spacious enough to accommodate the bird while spreading its wings. Ideally, it should be one and a half times the bird's wingspan in width, depth and height. Small cages cause stress leading to behavioral problems. It is not advisable to keep the birds open in a room since they may get injured during flight or increased chances of predation by other pet animals. Birds, when bred alone, make excellent companions. However, when they are placed along with other birds, larger birds will try to inflict injuries on the smaller ones due to competition for food and space. Cage location is also critical depending upon the personality of the bird and care should be taken to provide indirect sunlight to the bird, ideally by placing the cage near any window and a resting box may be provided within the cage to provide security. A controlled period of lighting, preferably 12 to 16 hours of lighting should be provided for optimal egg production. Malnutrition is quite common in pet birds and hence provision of balanced diet by incorporating the essential ingredients is the key to maintain healthy birds. Of late, formulated diets for pet birds are available from many reputable manufacturers. This diet is a blend of grains, seeds, vegetables, fruits, providing carbohydrates, proteins and added vitamins and minerals, especially vitamin A and calcium supplementation. The food can be in the form of pellets, crumbles or nuggets. Fruits and vegetables should be added to a formulated diet in moderation 
to provide psychological stimulation and variety. Feeding the birds after sunrise and again just before sunset is ideal, but some eat frequently throughout the day and offering homemade food is not recommended. Specialized diets for lorries and lorikeets, which consume nectar naturally as a large part of their diet, are available in commercially prepared formulas. The diet fed to them includes fruits, namely apple, pomegranate, papaya, grapes, pineapple, figs or kiwi. Dehydration is a serious problem that can occur within one to two days if water is unavailable. Hence, fresh clean water should always be provided daily for the birds. The feed and water bowls used should be thoroughly washed in hot soap water daily. Exercise is a must for birds to stay healthy and hence sufficient space should be provided in cages so that they can exercise its wings. Purges and toys must be provided to encourage physical activity within the cage. In the case of parrots, they may be allowed to exercise outside cages for psychological stimulation. Breeding is very diverse in pet birds. Each and every species of bird has its uniqueness in breeding and hand rearing and care and management of chicks. Captive birds and pet birds breed at any time based on environment and nutritional status. The incubation period in pet birds varies from 17 to 30 days. Gender identification in pet birds is difficult by naked eye and is done by DNA sexing. Behavioural problems in pet birds include feather picking, mutilation and screaming. Pet birds have the habit of chewing household items containing toxic substances like zinc, lead etc. Further, they do come across dangerous materials like insecticides, rodenticides, air fresheners, scented candles, cleaning products, etc. in homes which are hazardous. The human food items like chocolate, caffeine, salt, onions and garlic are toxic to birds. Hence, utmost care needs to be provided for protecting the birds from household dangers. Safe toys may be provided to birds for playing. A balanced pet bird diet, free access to quality water and food, well ventilated cages, regular cleaning of feeders and water bowls, quarantine of the sick or newly introduced pet birds, safe bird toys, exercise and continuous attention by the pet bird owner are essential for ensuring health of the pet birds and to control the transmission and spread of infectious diseases. Veterinary graduates have a moral responsibility of not only diagnosing and treating diseases of pet birds but also to educate pet bird on best management practices to prevent diseases. 
Managing pet birds in a clinical setting is always challenging since the clinical signs of illness are masked and pet birds are brought to the veterinarian at the later stage only. Further, the pet bird industry is an emerging arena and many pet enthusiasts are into rearing pet birds. The young veterinary graduates should sharpen their skill sets in breeding pet birds in addition to rendering avian healthcare facilities. Further, they may also focus on veterinary entrepreneurship by establishing specialized pet bird feed units and starting pet bird shops for organized marketing.